with my middle part my curtain bangs get in my face but i'm fix my part later of course so i haven't really been using primer which primer just i guess keeps the makeup on your face longer i don't know i feel like the primer i was using was breaking me out it was by elf it wasn't even that crazy of a primer but i'm trying to remember if i did all this steps i think i did so my acne is actually clearing up really well i've been using my trend to know one every night and there's a sparkle under my eye i have no clue what that's from <laughs> I've been using Trend to Know One every single night and I've been moisturizing alongside with it because at first, and I've been using it right, I was using it wrong in the beginning and it was making me break out super bad, like holy moly guys, it was insane, it was, and it should break you, like expect, if you start Trend to Know One, I think that's what it's called. I don't have it here with me. It's in my skincare bag. I have a makeup bag. I know. It's because I'm tr I'm always traveling in between my grandma's and this house. Like, honestly, at this point, eventually, I'll probably have enough makeup there and then enough makeup here. But I don't like owning a lot of makeup or skincare because, like, it's going to go to use because you can't use all of it. I don't like having stuff and not using it, like, daily. Like, I just don't like consuming that much stuff. But at the same time, I have a bunch of clothes I don't wear daily. So, like, I don't know why it is with products. I just like to finish my products. Like, I like to hit, like, empty. Like, I like emptying them out, like, all the way using them. Like, does anybody else feel like that? It's always, like, I don't like when I buy a product and I don't like it and I have to throw it away. Like, it kind of sucks. Like... I wish there was some sort of system. I wish there was, like, some sort of shop. You could just donate your half-used products. They, like, clean it. And then, like, people can have it for free. <laughs> like, that would be great. Because I would love that. <laughs> but. Because, like, I've thrown away products before that I just, that just didn't work well with my skin. Like, made me break out. And honestly, the thing that's worked for me is just less is more. Just being consistent, but with less products every day consistently is what's worked for me. Like, I really only use three products on my face, like, other than makeup-wise. I use a sunscreen. Well, if you count cleanser, I guess that's a little more. For products I leave on my face, I use sunscreen and moisturizer. And then for taking stuff off of my face, um, I use makeup remover and an oil-based cleanser. I stopped using salicylic acid on my face because uh, with the Trentinoin, which is the paste I use every night now, which I am getting dry around my mouth, but like my acne is getting better from using it daily, which you have to use it right. So if you start it, Look up how to use it, how I do it. I wash my face, and then I put my clindamycin every day. Clindamycin, I let that sit, kind of soak in my skin. And then I'll spray my face with water, like a micellular, not micellular water. I'll spray it with like a spring thermal water. You can really use any water spray. Like you could probably use like a Dollar Tree bottle spray of water, like honestly like you just need moisture on your face so that when you moisturize next you're trapping in the moisture in your face so that's like the point of the moisturizer like you're trapping in the moisture so that's why i spray it with water because the clindamycin kind of sucks all the water out my face so i do that and then i put a thin layer of moisturizer sometimes i'll double down on the places that i see are flaky because like your skin's gonna get flaky from it like especially in the beginning it was like really bad like I used it wrong I completely destroyed my skin barrier like this was like uh, somewhere in October I'm not too sure I think it was like mid-October like October 15th um so about a month ago it's been like a, probably a month of using it now 
So, and another thing that helped my skin, which if you guys are avid, especially of Mary Jane, or if you even ingest it, if you're a woman, or even man, it can mess up your hormones and it can make you break out. I know that sucks to hear, but it can break you out. So I had to cut it all, which I only really did Mary Jane. Like I don't vape, I don't do any of that. Like I've never vaped before. Um, I'm not saying that makes me like better. I just didn't really want to get addicted to nicotine. Like I feel like that would be really hard to quit. So I've just never done it. So I'm completely sober now. Like, um, like and that's helped my hormones balanced and that's also helped my skin so yeah i also stopped eating a lot of added sugar that has helped so i've pretty much cut out everything that could be messing with my skin other than uh i do have uh birth control which technically can mess with your hormones but honestly i've never really seen birth control mess with my skin that much to where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hop off. Like, I mostly take that for my cramps because I have really debilitating cramps. Birth control can be used for more than just one thing, if you know what I mean. So, the thing that sucks about acne is you really have to look at it from a different, so many different angles. Like, is it maybe, is it stress? Is it my diet? And that's what I had to do, guys. Like, and it's cleared up. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm using Suki Co Beauty. They sent me over their makeup, and I still haven't posted about them in my feed yet because I haven't gotten a chance to shout them out. I am gonna shout them out, and maybe today I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to like show their makeup. Um. I actually really like their formula. It's very buttery and soft. I'm not getting paid to say none of this. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a white van. It's the delivery man. <laughs> I was like, why is there a white van outside my house? Awkward. So I really like their makeup because it's very mineral based, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong though, but like I've had mineral based makeup before and this kind of reminds me of it. I could be wrong though. I don't, I do really like eyeshadow. I know like, I feel like guys don't like it when girls wear eyeshadow because they can tell you're wearing makeup, but I don't really care because I just like it. <laughs> like, like I feel like another thing guys don't like is like, weirdly enough, which they say they don't like it, but they really don't care. That's a lot of thing about guys. Like, they'll say they don't like girls that wear makeup, but they really don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they'll literally make exceptions. They don't care. They'll be like, I don't like a girl with makeup, but then, like, their Instagram likes would be consistent of girls wearing makeup. They People, they just don't like to be able to tell you're wearing makeup. That's a thing. Which me... I don't care. I like eyeshadow a lot. It's just, it's just fun. Like, I feel like as a society, we kind of, like, casted away basic eyeshadow, like, after the 90s. I feel like we should bring it back. Like,